The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout uh, the uh, Bible, basically from the beginning uh, to the end, it's clear that God has this kind of preference for what Jesus calls the childlike. That is, uh, we see that Jesus has a preference for the unwise the underqualified, the marginalized, those who are otherwise overlooked. We certainly see this in uh, today's reading from the book of Exodus, where God chooses from all the people he could have chosen uh, this stammering shepherd, fugitive from the law, Moses. Or today's saint, Catherine Tekawitha, the scar-faced, half-blind orphan. Throughout the history of humankind, to such people, God sets his particular uh, gaze of affection, of tenderness, of warmth. St. Paul explains to us that he does this to make it clear that the power is coming from him, God, and not from the individual. We're just kind of a sinful people that the Lord, for whatever reason, chooses and directs. You might remember when we feel overlooked or defeated, keep in mind this wonderful preference of God for the little guy. Perhaps uh, today we can pray uh, a little more carefully, prayerfully, sometime during the day with a Jesus prayer uh, in today's gospel. Jesus says, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will.